Okay, this is Cool Dude Clem here, and I'm sure some of you have been wondering just where the hell I've been lately. The thing is, I've just been too busy to make YouTube videos. I'm working on something really, really big right now, which really is taking up all my time, and I just don't have any time left to do YouTube videos. Although, I've taken a little bit of time out of my busy, out of my busy schedule, so I can show you what it is I've been up to, and stuff. Now, those of you who have been following my channel ever since the beginning, all five of you, will probably remember that right back in the beginning, I used to mostly upload animations that I've done, and this is what I want to get back into. I mean, I'm still going to be doing the electronics videos. Probably Wednesday I'll go and order the parts for that microphone preamp that I've been going on about, but anyway. I don't have a fetish for headless bodies, which, um, See here, they don't have heads. That's because I draw the heads on separately so I can animate them and put the right facial expression in and things like that. So, uh, you know, I can take these heads, I can draw the mouths on them in flash, and then I can put these heads on these bodies and things like that. Now, I've picked out these six drawings, or these six pieces of paper, or whatever you want to call it. Not because this is my most proudest piece of work or anything like that, it's just simply because they won't fit in the folder that I made. Which has got... all the other drawings on it. And just look at the amount of drawings that I have to do... for just one episode. Yeah. I spent the better part of the past three months or so drawing out all this. Let me repeat to you, this is just all for one episode. So you can imagine how much time that's taken. So I'm just going to take some of these drawings out, spring them about, just give you some kind of idea of how much work goes into producing one of these. So yeah, as you can imagine, this has taken up a lot of my time. Like, for instance, animating a character. For instance, um, this fat bully here. I've got a couple, few of the frames of animation drawn there. Having to draw the same thing over and over again, but in slightly different, posi slightly different positions to get an animation going. Things like that take up a lot of time. Although most of this is going to be done with cutter animation anyway, but... Now you've seen all this, I have done a little bit of animation, which I'm going to play to you now. This is the story of a boy with a very unusual name, who is about to live a very unusual life. The boy lived on this planet, and his name was Moonfish. He was also an orphan. He couldn't remember who his parents were, or what had happened to them. And even though the orphanage where he lived was more like a luxury hotel, the other kids there were horrible. They would make fun of his name, the way that he spoke, as well as his obsession with space and nature. He didn't even have one friend, and this may seem a sad way to start our story, but it does get better. Because, Little did he know that his life was soon about to change for the better. And this is where our story begins. One day, while he was out walking through the forest. And that's all I've done for now. Of course, I'm going to do the rest of it later on. And, yeah, I know it looks a little bit flaky around the edges. I know what I did wrong there, but... Unfortunately, it's too late to go back and fix that, because... That would mean having to redo the whole thing all over again. Anyway, I suppose I'd better get all this lot cleaned up now. Okay, and through the magic of video editing, that's all now cleared up. Oh, and we seem to have entered into extreme blur vision territory here, so let me just try to fix that. Let me just get the camera's menu to come up. And of course, the stupid camera will not let me adjust the focus. But let's just put something in the shot, hopefully it will focus. There we go. This is one of the characters I've designed. 
And this is another reason why I've been taking so long, because designing new characters, as you've probably guessed, this is not going to be about the Clement series game. Although, myself, Jane and Ricky are going to be in a few episodes, but mainly we're going to have, you know, new characters. So, anyway, like I said, the Clement series gang are going to be in a few episodes, and when I've done this cartoon, well, when I've done this first episode, I'm going to do little previews of the next few episodes, and this is the storyboard of one of those previews. Now, looking at it, you probably cannot tell what's going on, but these are basically just rough sketches so I know what to draw. And this is one of the episodes that me and Jane will be in, as you can see there. So now you know how crappy my storyboard drawings are, but I deliberately draw them crappy because... Sorry, cruddy. I know some of you get offended by that word, so I'll say cruddy. But like I was saying, I deliberately draw them cruddy because I just need to get them done quickly. Just a rough sketch of what's going on, so then I can get on and do the actual proper drawing, which, as you can tell, is a lot better than, well, what I draw on the storyboards. But anyway, that's going to take another month or so until I actually start doing the rest of the animation so that's what's been taking up most of my time anyway the other little thing i just want to touch up on is the other project i'm doing now some of you might remember that maybe about a year ago maybe not even a year ago i released a huge sample pack for open modplug tracker also along with a pre-configured modplug tracker so everything was set up the way so you didn't have to do anything the thing is, what I want to do is I want to update the bass, drums and guitar because what I want to do is I want to put in all the different kind of articulations for the basses and the guitars so just about every kind of playing can be simulated because I've actually got all the guitars all done. I've just called it guitar Eliza for now but there is a whole lot more in here than there was before and that's just about every type of articulation and everything for every type of playing style. So, when I've got the basses and the drums done, I'm going to release those and I'm going to do a big video about that on my The Music Wizard channel. So, that's just a little something to look out for. But this is also something that's been taking up a lot of my time. Anyway, with that all said, I've got to go because time's running out. So... Until next time, goodbye.